Hartman. <laughs> Through much of the 70s, she was one of TV's most beloved sidekicks. Oh, Rhoda! Mary's brash best friend, always looking for love. I gotta lose 10 pounds by 8.30. <laughs> A signature role for Valerie Harper that earned her four Emmy Awards. Thank you. The big break came in 1970. Harper auditioned for a character named Rhoda. I'm engaged. No! You're right, I'm not engaged, but he's closing in. Harper soon got her own show. My name is Rhoda Morgenstern. And Rhoda got her man. In a groundbreaking move, Rhoda and Joe lived together unmarried, unheard of on television in the 70s. And a record 52 million Americans watched as Rhoda and Joe tied the knot. So if you're always connected with Rhoda, will you be happy about that? Oh, yeah, sure, because she's been the wind in the sails of my career. Soon after releasing her memoir, Harper, who beat lung cancer in 2009, was diagnosed with brain cancer. With her husband always by her side, Harper faced the prognosis with clarity and grace. Absolutely valid. Given only three months to live, she defied the odds. I'd say that we're, we're getting pretty close to a remission. That's great to hear. Yeah. Six months after the diagnosis, Harper returned to television and earned a standing ovation. We're all going to die. I just want to live every moment to the fullest. And she did. Valerie Harper, an actress, activist, and humanitarian who spent a lifetime <laughs> making us laugh. For today, Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm.